Hi everyone. So, a um, bit different today. Um, I did a thing and I bought something black for, for on the Black Friday sale. Um, I bought myself a brand new uh, mini oven air fryer. So it's not the drawer type, it's like the mini oven type. So I'm going to do an unboxing and a bit of a review. So I'm going to set you down there because the box is on the floor. I can't quite get my, my camera down to, to show, but there we go, right. So literally, I am unboxing it in front of your eyes. I haven't opened this yet. It came yesterday, I think. Yesterday morning. I thought I'd wait until now to unbox it so that I could do a video and show you guys what it's like, what you get in it, um, and everything. So, um, it's a Pro Scenic Air Fry Oven T31. Okay. Um, so the first thing we see is oops, these, I think they, they're part of the rotisserie um, part of the air fryer because um, you get this as well which you use to put the food in and out. So I will pop that to one side. Um, next we've got some skewers and the rotisserie bar um, and the two um, bits that go in either side of the chicken to stop it moving around. So I'll put those to one side. Um, in the bag <laughs> Let's see what we get in here, if I can get it open. <clears throat> so obviously you get your, your manual, um, which tells you what everything is for um, and how to use it in different languages. Um, you have a quick start guide. Whoops. Troubleshooting guide on the on the back. Uh, what's this? And a thank you card. Um, also, recipes. Oh, that's good. York steak with chimichurri. Mediterranean lamb meatballs, Chinese meatballs, chicken parmesan, parmesan, North Carolina style pork chops, Cajun tender chicken, sorry, chicken tenders, Stromboll, jerk chicken wings. So there's lots of ideal recipes in there. Um, Okay, so you get it's packaged well, you get a nice nice bit of polystyrene to keep it um, keep it packaged. Right. Now there's no handles or anything to help lift it out, so I've got to be quite careful. Oh. That's it. So it's covered with this um i don't know what you call it felt felty kind of stuff and again you've got the packaging of the polystyrene underneath to keep it safe during transit um right i am going to 
take all this off, put it up on my side um, in the kitchen and then I will be back with you. Okay, here we go. Right, so I've taken the covers off. Um, it's got tape around the edge so that um, it doesn't open and break something. Although this one is quite hard to get off. two bits and then okay so that's the tape taken off okay so I'm just going to show you around it first so it's got a handle for the door here there's no controls or anything on on the handle excuse me um, so that just opens it up you've got a knob a dial here that pushes in I don't know whether that's to do something um, on the top here let's see if I can tip it forwards you could there's a caution um, it says read caution on the back it's recommended to use the pro scenic app to enjoy all functions it says about it being hot to touch etc okay and if i turn it around it's nice and shiny and black so it says caution hot steam on the back here so you've got your warning you've got what looks like a handle here um in front of this vent um i should imagine that is to stop it going right back against the wall because obviously it needs that gap to let the air out um, or to take air in. Um, the plug is in that tap. And in the UK, it always comes with a cover on the actual plug bit. So I've taken that off. Let's turn it back around again. Oops. There we go. Okay, so, so the door opens nice, smooth. It's got um, double glass in the doors. Um, and then we're faced with a piece of cardboard. So if I pull that out, okay. Um, what we've got inside here. So, oh, that's quite stiff in there. So, get rid of those bits. So, we have some accessories here. So, this is a like a, um, it's a, a cage to use. Oh, it's stuck. Okay, there we go. It's a cage to use with the rotisserie. Um, you can put chips or nuggets or something in there. Put the lid on. That should go on. Oh, I see. There. Okay. Um, oh, that's good. Look, the lid goes on a certain way because there's little, um, a little thing there. And if you can see in the, that side, there's a dip there and one on the other side. Um, and it has got a looking symbol there. So you pop those in and twist it and that's locked. That's locked on. Um, and then you pop it in the air fryer and it turns like it would a chicken and evenly cooks your chips. So that's the cage. Um, what else have we got in here? Okay, so we've got an uh, air fryer tray. It's got the um, holes in the tray for the airflow around the... Um... I've just got to show you this, guys, as well. It's got like a handle bit there as well, so it would go in that way, I should imagine. Oh. Did I get that in? 
right back there we go so then you can just pull that let's say it's got a bit of a handle bit there okay so um so it's got two two air fry trays two of those and i just don't know if this is the drip tray but it's a solid solid tray this one um it's got a, a hot symbol on there can you see that guys okay um there's some cardboard in the bottom here so we'll take that out and then and then the the inside of it can you see that guys it's just a flat flat area inside made of metal you've got this uh, little symbol down here um a caution hot symbol um the the racks let me just look at that there um, the racks on the side, if you can see those, at the bottom here, there's um, like a screw with a large end here. Um, oh, you could use a screwdriver to undo it. Um, there's one there and there's two like rivets at the top. I imagine if you undo that, you can take this out for cleaning. Um, I think the other... Yep, it's the same the other side. So that's that's ease of cleaning. So that would be really good for cleaning. Um, you've got there. Can you see that? Um, you've got the rotisserie knob there. Let me just move this cage because I'm squishing it. Pop that over here. Um, if I move that around, you've got the rotisserie knob there and it's uh, got a square slot in it to pop the um the rod in and the other side here um oh it's got a long piece of metal here with a little nook in the end and that's where the other side of the rotisserie bar goes in um so the motor would be that side okay so so this solid tray that I picked up, that is the drip tray. So that will stay in the bottom um, at all times. And then you just clean it um, after each use um, to keep it nice and clean. So you, let's have a look. You've got one, two, there's three levels here. So... You can pop them the tray at any height. Just a bit of a caution here. If you're not careful, it will go on top of that um, bit of bar for the rot rotary uh, rotisserie bit. And then your tray won't sit in properly. Can you see that? So you have to be careful and actually go under that bit so that it would slide in easily. Okay, um, and then there's a top level as well. Um, but guys, you can have two lots of things going. See that? So you can have, you could probably have something at the bottom and the two levels. And then shut the door and get them cooking right let's turn it on plug it in and turn it on make sure it works oh okay so we had um a display come up here okay so um we've got the name pro scenic and then you've got um preset programs so you've got fries meat um, what's that? I can't see. Uh, no, oh, fries, chicken, like chicken wings, meat, like steak, I should imagine. Um, that looks like vegetables, fish, chicken, full chicken, 
pizza, bacon, um, cakes, so for bake setting, so if you want to bake cakes, you've got bread, or that could be toast, um, you've got, actually haven't got my glasses on, what does that say? Hang on, I'll go and get my glasses guys, one second. Right, I'm back. Okay, so the one I couldn't read says dehydrate. So it says D and then HY and then drate underneath. So you can dehydrate things in this, guys. So if you like grow herbs and um, things like that and you want to dry them out, you can use the, this um, air fryer. Um, and then you have an air fry button. Um, so light. So it's got a light inside. Can you see that? There we go. A light inside that you can turn on and off whenever you like. Uh, you've got a keep warm function. And this here is the rotisserie to make the rotisserie go round. Um, you've got the temperature here and minutes underneath, um, which you can change. So you change the temperature by turning the knob, you press it in and then change the minutes and then press it again, I'm guessing, and then you would press start, I think. I haven't gone into that yet, but I'm guessing that's what you do. Um, and then you've got on off there, your go button and preheat so you've got a preheat preheat function on this as well if you want to get it heating up while you're um, mixing up your bread dough or anything like that or your cakes or anything okay so you see there's something flashing here guys so this is actually wi-fi so there is an app you can download um and i believe it has thousands of recipes on this app um, and you can also connect your air fryer to the app so that you can um, start and stop your air fryer um, and set it up um, via your f an app on your phone. Um, I'm just going to turn that off. There we go. So it all goes off once you press the off button. Um, but the app is uh, supposed to be really good. I've not come across an air fryer that you can run by an app. Obviously, um, you won't be able to, like, not be at home and use the app because you have to put the food in the air fryer. Um, and I wouldn't recommend, like, putting a chicken in here, going to work and then thinking about three or four o'clock in the afternoon, I'll, I'll just pop the chicken on because you can't leave it in here all day because obviously... Uh, meat needs to be refrigerated meat and poultry so um things like that you wouldn't be able to keep in here um and then set it off at a certain time um the app is useful for like maybe you're in the front room you're busy you want the air fryer to maybe carry on for a couple of minutes um maybe you've only set it for 10 minutes and you want it to go for 15 so you could make it go for another five minutes um and do things like that so now we go guys um shall i yeah let's have a go at the oh so when you when, when you open the door the light comes on so that's really good pop those up there um, I believe Procedic is a British company. Um, if I'm wrong on that, let me know, won't you guys? Um, I did do a lot of um, looking at reviews and things before I bought this. Um, this was £109 um, originally, but I got... 20 pounds off um off the um on the 
Black Friday sale, so it was 89, 89 yeah, £89 I paid for it. Um, now let's have a look how this goes in. So, oh, so you might have to make sure that this is on top of it, so twist it that way. Um, so I'm guessing that would go into the into the rotary bit first, that's it, popped in, and then push it up against right back on this this bit here, and that would turn. I wonder if it'll turn. Oh. Okay, so you have to shut the door before you can turn it on. So that's good. Um, let's press the right. No, that's not going to. Okay, so I'm guessing you have to set time and temperature. Um, so I've got chips, um, rotisserie, go. Okay. So there it goes. Can you see the the cage going around in there, guys? So that looks really good. And then if I open it, it stops. And I can feel the heat in there already. And that was on seconds. So there we go. So, well, there we go. If I shut the door, it starts again. So I will be using this later, maybe, to... Um, Let's just stop that. Um, I will be using this later to do my dinner in. Um, I will try and do um, a video of that. And uh, so I shall see you in a little while. Okay, thanks guys.